All right, so it's been a few weeks since I looked at Lint, um, but I'm hoping to get a lot of progress done on it. I have a little bit of a to-do list. Um, so the major things I want to like knock out are uh, I want to do, I want to go ahead and uh, knock out some more of the styling, actually get that working the way I want it to. I know I've said that like 15 billion times now, but it's like for real this time. I got to handle routing better. Routing isn't being handled properly and also proper sign-in isn't technically working. Um, even though I have Redux set up and everything. So those are gonna be the things I'm gonna tackle. So I'm just gonna hop right into it. Had to grab a little snack, you know? Snacks are needed. At all times, gotta have good snacks. Yeah, so I just uh, have been working on this like router. Now that I got that out of the way, the next thing on my to-do list for Lint is to um, is to uh, work on the stylings of this homepage. Uh, so we're just gonna make it look a little bit neater and stuff because um, right now it still looks like kind of rough. So I think originally I was gonna use Bootstrap and Bootstrap's really basic, but what I think I wanna do is I'm probably actually go not going to use um, Bootstrap. I'm probably gonna use a different like or way way of going about that so um, yeah here we go <laughs> like the more and more i sit here i'm like what was i doing <laughs> um so like right here i have it get the accounts and I also parse them i don't know why i just didn't have it on the Back end like handle this parsing for me, but it is the way it is, so I guess what I'm gonna have to do is just like also call this parse math function. Yeah. Okay, let me talk to you guys for a second. So, I have been running through this issue for like 30 minutes. Like, let me sh let me show you what the problem was. Okay, so so if you remember like last video or maybe the first video, I can't remember, but another one of the videos in this kind of mini sub series, I looked, I basically updated the database, but the front end didn't update when you added a new account or so basically it didn't show more accounts and more transactions like it should. Well, now I, so you would have to, so basically you would have to log out and log back in and then it would show. Cause basically all that information only came from the database once. Well now I have updating the accounts first and I ran into this issue and it was specifically, it was an error that said basically call back is not defined cause I'm using a, and I should have done this in the first place. Um, I, I shouldn't actually, I actually shouldn't need to use this but I'm using a callback and man, I ran into the weirdest issue and it was working when I used it earlier, but it wasn't working over here. And I kept getting this issue saying, you know, callback is undefined, callback is undefined when calling this method. Well, turns out the reason, I mean, I guess this is, I mean, this is this definitely, it's my fault, like, you know, coding and it took me about 30 minutes to figure it out after, you know, thinking about it and doing some searching. But essentially because i didn't always pass the callback it showed it as um that it was undefined so it wasn't but it but it basically gives you the error as if it's like in this function itself so i was in here looking like crazy i was like did i misspell it like did i look at it bad but all you need is this check because this check is going to see if callback even exists because um it because if the, this this will default to false like if it's undefined for example uh, so this handles my use case um so that's like great but man that was like a weird issue but anyway now like if i was to go in here and like so we have let's see we have four accounts here so if i go into here and i uh go and we uh, we add another user user underscore good and pass underscore good and we come down here and we'll see like where the state currently is so the state currently shows um, that we have uh, four accounts, right? 
Um, but if we submit this, then we should get an update to this state. And we do, so it generated new transactions, it got the accounts and it parsed the accounts. And now we can see, now we have five elements here. So what we're expecting, if we look back over here, we can now see three, four, five. Um, so yeah, so it works. So I'm gonna do that to transactions and uh, then I'll have uh, that bit working the way I want it to. And then I can just work on the stylings. And then I think that will pretty much be where I, uh, I guess stop with this project for now. So yeah, all right, I'll see you guys in a bit. So now I have it successfully working to where it will um, update the account and transactions live when you add a new account. Um, so now that I've done that, that's pretty much all I really, I guess, wanted to finish up about this like project. It was like the last thing that I guess I really wanted to finish before moving on, um, other than the stylings. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop because uh, it's pretty late here today. Uh, so I think we'll stop here and then I'll just pick it up tomorrow and throw some stylings on it and bada bing bada boom. Well, uh, we'll be done. Yeah. All right. So now what I'm doing is I kind of wrapped up, I guess, everything I really want to, I guess, accomplish with this, because like I said, the whole point of this project was um, just looking at the Plaid API and I've learned like a lot from it and I've actually started using it in another project, but I do want to finish this up a little bit. So I'm just going to add some stylings. Um, originally, I was going to use Bootstrap and kind of keep it pretty minimal, but I think I'm going to change over to using Material UI and just change the sign-in screen, the uh, sign-up screen, and then the main dashboard screen. So I think we'll get into that, and then that's pretty much where I'm gonna end uh, this project, I think. So after a little bit of messing around, this is what I come up with. Uh, I just entered everything on the sign-in screen. So the sign-in screen looks uh, just like this and sign-up screen is gonna look just like it, just with a little bit of different button. Um, but if we go back to sign-in and log back in and we're gonna use test two's credentials. Um, I mean, they all have the same credentials, but they just this one just doesn't have any data in it and we log in, we can see that right now, this one doesn't have any accounts or any transactions, but uh, this definitely changed. So everything's now centered inside the screen. Uh, the header now has some color. Um, so it looks a little bit better, but if we put some transactions in here, it should look a little bit better. So we'll connect an account. So all this still works. So we're in sandbox, so we can use all the test credentials. And we do that success and then we see that it now populates so it looks a little bit better I don't have the weird borders that I had anymore to distinguish the two sections um, and I mean all the information is still there I decided to keep the table look because I think it's beneficial if I was really gonna make this you know like a full-scale application of course this would only be the beginning of the stylings um, but it didn't take me that long to actually make this look better uh, I do really enjoy using the material UI uh, component libraries and I mean that's what I'm using right here they, they want for react um, but yeah, so it's come out pretty cool. So I guess this is gonna be it for this project as far as I'm concerned for the channel. Um, could I revisit in the future? Maybe, but I pretty much learned what I wanted to. I just really wanted to get into the um, understanding and the workflow that is uh, based by the Plaid API. And I think I've done that. So I actually have another project in the works that I might be putting on the channel that's related to that. Um, but before that, I'll be releasing plenty more content. So uh, if you all liked this video or any of the videos on my channel, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you would. Uh, follow me on Twitter for any updates as far as channel stuff goes. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, see ya.